Hey guys, today we got a Motorola XeBoard 8.2 review. Um, basically, it, it's running on Honeycomb, so it is an Android tablet. Um, I think this is actually a very nice um, device. Um, has an 8.2 inch screen, so that is that is pretty nice. Um, it, it, it is, you know, it's, it's bigger than what most tablets are, um, so I guess that is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, what else does it have? Um, for four hundred and thirty dollars, you get the sixteen gigabyte model, or for the for the thirty two gigabyte model, it's five hundred and thirty dollars. So you can see, um, uh, for a hundred dollars more, you can double the um, the capacity, which is you know quite nice. Um, you also have to sign a two year data contract, so I guess that's the sad part about it. Um, hardware wise, uh, just standard stuff, I guess. Um, it is pretty thin. Uh, 0 0.35 inches. That is pretty thin, actually. Uh, you got the back of the device. Mm, um, has a 1280 by 800 LCD display. Uh, a 3.5 um, uh, millimeter headphone jack. So this is standard. Uh, micro USB, micro HDMI. Uh, that's kind of weird. Micro USB, micro HDMI. So that's a very nice feature. Um, it's got a slot for LTE micro SIM card. Um, so that is very nice, I guess. Um, the battery on this. Let's see the battery life compared to what um, normal things get. Um, hmm. So it, it does support HD. Very nice. Very nice HD. You don't. Need, hmm. uh, software, like I said, Android Honeycomb 3.2. So that's obvious. Um, the camera. It doesn't really say what the camera is. Um, it says five megapixel camera, but I'm not, I'm not really sure if it if there's a front facing camera doesn't really mention. Um, so yeah, I think this this actually is a very nice um, tablet. I mean, you look at it, um, it looks very nice, very efficient. Uh, maybe it's a little too big. Maybe it's not big enough. I guess. Um, well, it can't be not big enough. I mean, that's a pretty big screen, but you know, I guess that I guess that is a. Um, a pretty nice size for a tablet. Um, so yeah, anyways, comment, rate, and subscribe.